This video is going to be about word problems that are solved with rational equations. And specifically, I want to talk about a kind of problem called a work problem. Here's an example. Alice can do a job in two hours. Bill takes three hours to do the same job. How long will it take them working together? Okay, so I guess my information, let's write my information down first. Alice, we'll call her A, takes two hours, and Bill takes three hours, and together, well, we don't know how long it takes them together. We'll call that X hours. Now, at first you might figure, all I have to do is add up their times. Two plus three would be five, so together they take five hours. But that doesn't make sense. If they're working together, they should take less time than either one takes individually. So the way to solve this is, is very simple. If Alice takes two hours to do the job, in one hour, she can do one half of the job. Now, all I did was take the two and divide it by, and, and take its reciprocal. Okay, in other words, two over one becomes one over two. And that's how long it takes, it's how much work she can do in one hour. She could do one half of the total job. Bill takes three hours to do the job. So in one hour, he can do one third of the job. And if the total job takes X hours, then in one hour, one over X of the job will be done. Now we can combine one half and one third and set that equal to one over X. So one half plus one third equals one over X. We're dealing with rational equa a rational equation. So we need a common denominator. We've got a two and a three and an X. So the common denominator is six X. I want to multiply everything by that common denominator. Six X times one half, or well, one half of six is three. So that's 3x. 6x times 1 third, I can divide a 3 into both this denominator and into the 6. So that will give me 2x. And 6x times 1 over x, I can factor out the x's. I just get a 6. So 3x plus 2x equals 6x. 5x equals 6, which means x equals 6 over 5. I've just divided both sides by 5. So it's going to take 6 fifths of an hour to get the job done. Now since this is a word problem, we want to think of something better than just 6 fifths of an hour. Let's make it a mixed number and we'll say that's 1 and 1 fifth hour. And if we want to, we can actually call that 1 hour and 12 minutes. Okay, And of course, you can check this. You can put the six-fifths back into your calculations where you have 1 over x and see if this works. But, you know, logically, this should make sense because we want a number which is going to be smaller than either the 2 or the 3. And 1 hour and 12 minutes or six-fifths of an hour would do that. Okay, let's look at another one. Kathy can do a job in six hours. Working together with Dan, she can do the same job in four hours. How long would it take Dan to do the job by himself? Okay, so Kathy is six hours. Dan, we don't know Dan's time. We'll call that X hours. And together, it takes them four hours. So in one hour, Kathy can do one-sixth of the job. In one hour, Dan can do 1 over x of the job. And working together, they can do 1 quarter of the job in one hour. So I'm going to combine Kathy's, the amount of work Kathy does in an hour and the amount of work Dan does in an hour. 1 sixth plus 1 over x equals 1 over 4. Uh, let's see, a 6 and a 4 and an x. My common denominator is 12x. So I'll multiply everything by 12x. Okay. 
and 12x times 1 over 6, I can divide a 6 into both this, the denominator here, the 6, and into the 12 of 2x. 12x times 1 over x, the x's will cancel. I'll just get a 12. 12x times 1 quarter, I can divide a 4 into the 12 and into the 4. So that's 3x. Then I'll just subtract 2x from both sides. And 12 equals x. So working together, I'm sorry, Dan's time, Dan was the x. Dan's time is 12 hours. And if we put a 12 back into here, take its reciprocal 1 over 12, and then add 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12, we should get 1 over 4. Okay? Let's look at one more. This is not exactly a work problem, but the solution works the same way. A faucet can fill a bathtub in 15 minutes. The drain can empty the bathtub in 20 minutes. How long, will it take to the, how long will it take to fill the bathtub when the drain is opened? Okay, so the faucet is 15 minutes, and the drain is 20 minutes, and we want to know what happens together. So that's going to be x. Okay, so in one minute, the faucet can do 1 15th of the job of filling the bathtub. In one minute, the drain can do 1 20th of the job of emptying the bathtub. And together, in one minute, 1 over x of the job of filling the bathtub will be accomplished, or 1, x, 1 over x of the bathtub will be filled. So we want to combine these. Now, here's the thing that's important. This drain is not helping. In other words, it's not going to go faster if the drain is left open. So the drain, this 1 20th, is going to be subtracted. Here's what we've got. 1 over 15 minus 1 over 20. In other words, the faucet is filling the bathtub. The drain is emptying it. And now let's see how long it takes to fill the bathtub with the drain open. I've got 1 over 15, 1 over 20, 1 over x. The common denominator of 15 and 20 is 60. So I want to multiply everything by 60x. Okay? So 60x times 1 over 15, I can divide a 15 into both the 60 and the 15. So that's just going to be 4x. 6x times 1 over 20, I can divide a 2. I'm sorry, that's 60x. Now it makes sense. I can divide a 20 into both of these numbers. So that's 3x. And 60x times 1 over x, the x's cancel, and I just get a 60. 4x minus 3x is x, and x equals 60, so it will take 60 minutes or one hour to fill the bathtub with the drain opened. That seems to make sense because the drain is taking water out of the bathtub almost as fast as the faucet is putting it in, so it's going to take a while. So our answer is going to be 60 minutes or one hour. Okay. So the basic procedure in doing all of this is write down the times that it takes for each of the participants. In other words, Anne and Bill and working together, or the faucet and the drain and working together. And then take the reciprocal of each one of those times. And then you're going to take the individual uh, parts, the reciprocals of the individual times, and combine them and set them equal to the reciprocal of the time that they take working together. Okay? And that's about it. Okay, I'm going to do another kind of rational equation word problem uh, in a follow-up video. So stick around, I'll show you how to do that.